Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Maple Story video, and then in this video, as I'm sure you can tell, as always, by the title, I'm going to be talking about uh, my hyperburn plans, and then also some prep tips for your own hyperburn that may or may not be applicable to you. But it's no surprise that with the milestone update coming uh, on November 20th, is it? That is very soon, it's coming up very soon. Basically when Night Troop ends, we get the big patch for milestone update. And with Milestone Update, it brings a lot of different things, some of which are Hyper Burns, class changes, all that good stuff, balance changes, um, and then obviously some GMS exclusive content that we're also getting with uh, the Dark Ride aspect of it that was kind of shown off a little bit at Maple Fest. But Hyper Burns aside, what am I going to burn for my Hyper Burns? We get two Hyper Burns, if you're not uh, super familiar. We're getting two Hyper Burns with the patch. Uh, we, I don't know if we're getting them both right when the patch first drops, or we're getting one now and then one a bit later. I I mean, I don't know exactly how they're going to lay out the patch, but I do know that we're getting two Hyper Burns at some point soon, TM. And with one of the Hyper Burns, one of the Hyper Burns has to be used on one of the revamped characters. The revamped characters are obviously, in this case, Aron and Shade. So... For the revamped Hyper Burn, mine is going towards Shade because I want the Shade Crit Damage Legion block. I do not have a 250 Shade, um, and if you don't have a 250 Shade and you don't have, you're not partial to either class, I would highly recommend you go Shade for one of your Hyper Burns. Uh, big recommendation there for me because Crit Damage Legion block, pretty good. It, it ends up being a free boss mule too if you want to use it, but that's my reasoning behind that. For the other Hyper Burn, you can do whatever you want, obviously. I think for me, I'm probably going to do a Demon Slayer and make it my Fam Farmer. Because Demon Slayer should be pretty chill to farm with. Uh, with Soul Janus and its teleport ability, its TP farming capabilities with Soul Janus. But that's my plans. And some tips you can take with you, or m maybe you can take with you going into Hyper Burn. Uh, some prep things you can do. So there's a couple different things you can do. Uh, we have a Vac Pet, for example, an Inkwell Vac Pet that is expiring very, very soon. I think it's expiring... I'm, it might be this reset as of me saying this, but you can claim it and it's in a box. The box lasts for an extra week. But what you can do if you want it on your Hyperburn character, you can make the class type of the Hyperburn character you want to put it on. So in this case, assume I claim the Pink Bean Vac Pet box, right, on my Nightwalker. It doesn't really matter what character I claim it on. But I want to put it on my Hyperburn Shade that doesn't exist yet because obviously the revamp isn't out. So I haven't made the character and I haven't Hyperburned it or Terra Blinked it or whatever I'm going to do to it. What I can do is I can create... A random shade on my account. I can transfer the Vac Pet box over to that random shade on my account. I can open it on that shade. I can put the Vac Pet into the cash shop on that shade. So it's in the, the shade cash shop. And then when I... I can delete that character. And then when I make my Hyperburn shade, the Vac Pet will be in the shade's cash shop because we already preemptively put it there. So that's a way to get around the time limit sort of, sort of dealio. Though in this specific case, it doesn't matter too terribly much because there's going to be a cash transfer event that might overlap with the patch very briefly. And what I mean by that is the patch is happening on the 20th and a lot of things are expiring on the reset of the 20th. So depending on when they actually do server maintenance, like if they do it on the 19th, uh, before the 20th reset, there might be some overlap there. So what I mean is, if they end up putting the patch out on the 19th, for example, and they finish maintenance before the 20th reset, theoretically there's some items like these experience vouchers that don't expire until the 20th reset. So you might be able to use these depending on when they patch and how fast they patch. I would not recommend you hold on to your experience tickets and use them or try to use them in this way. But there is always that option for people who want to try that. Uh, again, I would not recommend it because it relies on a lot of random things like when the patch is happening, how fast the patch happens, when the servers come up, etc. Um, and then obviously when the events are active. But I figured I might as well mention it because it is a thing that you might be able to utilize if that's up your wheelhouse. 
Another thing that a lot of people might not be super aware of, like you might be aware of it, but you might not be thinking about it. So in the milestone patch, which is the big update that's coming on November 20th, that's bringing all the events and hyperburns and stuff. Uh, what is uh, there's a big change happening to hyperburn characters. Currently, hyperburn characters or any burning characters at all cannot use any experience potion at all, right? So like an extreme growth pot, you just can't use it on a hyperburn character, right? Right now, currently. But after the patch, you'll be able to use growth pots on those characters, right? So, something you can do, and what I'm planning on doing myself, is since we're getting growth pots currently from the Camilla and Hollow Kitty Week fashion event stuff, you can see here 20 growth pots, 20 growth pots. I'm waiting until the last day to claim these, which will be the 19th, which is when the patch is happening. And I assume the growth pots will last a week from when you claim them. So I'm going to be able to use these growth pots on my Hyperburn character to get more efficiency out of them since a Hyperburn character, every time you level, you gain three levels. Uh, it'll be a fast way to level and get some easy experience on them. Very, very nice, in my opinion. And I, it's a good use of them in, to me. And if you think that's a good use... Fuck yeah, man. I'm glad I could uh, remind you or make you aware of it, you know? That's all this video really is. It's talking about my plans and, you know, some tips and how to prep, I guess. Another thing, obviously, event node stones are the same kind of deal. Like, these event node stones and experience node stones. You can do the exact same thing with, like, the growth pots that I was talking about. Uh, in that you could save them for the hyper burn. Just claim them before the patch. And then when the patch drops, you have event node stones you can transfer over to the Hyper Burn of choice. Again, a lot of it's not revolutionary stuff, but if at least one person finds one of these things helpful in any way, that's awesome. And that's what I'm here for, man. I'm here to try to help people in any way that I can. Because I like I just I like helping. That's that's it. I, I don't know what else to say. Um, but that's sort of all of the things that I've been thinking about prepping for uh, in terms of Hyperburn. And that's the things that I'm going to be doing in terms of what I have prepped myself, like the growth pots. The growth pots are really the big thing for me. I'm going to be using these. I'm going to be skipping hopefully pretty deep into the 200s pretty early. Um, and obviously it applies to mag pots as well if you buy the hyper battle pass the mag pots here you can also use the mag pots like any growth pot it's not just going to be extreme pots any growth pot will be usable on hyper burns so your mileage may vary uh anyways i'll stop yapping thank you guys so much for watching another video as always i appreciate your support a view is as much support as i need if you feel like you want to go the extra mile consider becoming a youtube member Helps support the channel a little bit more. Remix my life. I'm Nufu. It's Biscuits Inner Diz. You guys are all my greatest supporters, and I love you each individually. Uh, and of course, like the video if you like it, subscribe, all that good stuff if you want to see more videos from me. Uh, but until next time, I will see you guys. Bye!